All right, this is Beeman G Drive with YBR, and we have a very promising sounding car right now. So let me just read the official form description to you. It is a high quality body shell with near perfect poly flow. An incredible amount of work has gone into the texturing, and the, the J beam has gone through many minutes of rigorous testing. With parts of the code being from official vehicles to know that it's of high quality. So it sounds like it's going to be a pretty decent vehicle. So let's go to, uh, let's go way to the end of the maps because I always like going as far as possible, it seems like. I never like the maps to start with A, it seems like. I don't know why. Uh, uh, there you go. Ultimate test terrain version 4. Let's go there. Alright. So, let's go ahead and pull the car out. There it is. That's the name. And look at what? Wait a minute. It's a, this has to be the wrong car. It's not what it's promising at all. Plus, it's stuck and the game broke, and oh my goodness. Alright, let's unfix, unbreak the game. Move the car out of the way. And you have to use a manual transmission, otherwise the game breaks. Oh my goodness, how are you tipping over? What is your problem? Your wheels are broken already. They were never working to begin with. These are the most not round wheels I've ever seen. This is a disgrace to wheel technology. Caveman would be looking at this and wondering, what were you thinking? However, it still has an internal combustion engine, which is quite amazing for somebody who can't even make wheels. Oh, that's... okay. Broke the game again. J, 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 and then hit K. And then the game's fixed and ready to go. Like I said, manual transmission, otherwise things don't go good. And it, it seems like the car is a little light. It kind of bounces up and down a lot. Let's go over these. Let's see how it does here. Well, at least the suspension is good. Look at that. You know that now that I take a close look at this thing, it's not that pretty, is it? It's not. It's kind of ugly. The oh goodness. Oh, I see. Brake means break the game, not break to slow down the car. Every time I hit the brakes, it just crashes. Watch. We're driving along, driving along, and brake. Yeah, that's good. Nice. It has a cool feature there. It could be great for multiplayer if you want to piss people off. Anyways, let's go this way. Try these bumps again. Make sure you can do it from the very start. Oh, oh no, it's stuck. It can't do it. I guess the suspension's not as good as I thought it would. And I hit the brake again without thinking. So hit J a bunch, then hit K, and then we're good to go. Bounce, 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 bounce. Keep your wheels on the ground, you disgrace to wheel technology. No brakes, no brakes, no brakes. Don't touch the brakes. At least it looks durable. Like, it doesn't seem like it even got damaged much from that whole process of driving. I need to crash it into something, obviously. That's the problem. I'm trying to think what could I crash it into, really. Guess we could crash into this. Wow. That is durable. That and it can't go really fast because these wheels are totally the opposite of round. So you know what? Here's a better idea. Let's get it to go somewhere where there's you can just drop it down a cliff and it'll go fast. Here's a little bit of speed. Let's see. Can you get damaged? Oh, look at that durability. Surprising for how ugly it is. See, I'm being, I'm testing this like it's a real car. You know, it takes like 10 minutes to make probably. I take that back. It takes at least 15 minutes to make. But man, it's actually durable. That's what's surprising me. I figured this thing would break. Ah, look at that. It even writes itself up sometimes. I figured it would break a lot easier than it is. But the fact that it can't go much faster than 10 miles per hour or churn really detracts from that. All right, let's just say, oh, we made five, five hours later, we made it up here somehow. And then we can do this. Yeah. Oh, 
at that, it's barely even damaged. It's like, please. You call that damage? I wonder what the interior looks like. Ooh, look at the interior. That's a nice looking interior. That is a nice interior. And by nice, I don't mean nice. I mean, there isn't one. They forgot the interior. This car could have been perfect too. And they forgot the interior. Ruins it all. Alright, let's go to an easier map. This is a... Uh, I know a good map for this one. I know a really good map for this. I need one where we could just drop it from the air because driving it's too much of a pain. So we're going to go to Gridfall. This one we could just drop it. Just drop it. Let's see what happens when we drop it. Not cones. Yes, this one. Up we go. And drop it. Problem is, it's kind of light, so I don't even know how fast it'll fall. Oh my goodness, it bounced. It just bounced. What is this nonsense? What are you made out of? Do it again. I think it still functions. Keep breaking it. Oh goodness. I've never seen that before. The whole game actually went black when it crashed. That's a new one. Alright, extreme speeds. Oh goodness. And it shot back into the air. It actually managed to entirely crash the game. Entirely crashed it. That is, uh, wow. That's something. Alright, let's try just doing it a brutal slope and then we'll end it. Because I don't think this thing is going to be able to... I don't know how reliable this is going to be if it keeps cra if it crashed the game like that. It's, uh, kind of scary. Crash the game any moment. I don't even know if I'll be able to go down this thing actually now that I think about it. I might just bounce up and down on its square wheels. Oh, I tried to use reverse, which means I'm going to hit the brakes, which, yeah. Need to use manual transmission. I can't, I really can't even tell if this thing's symmetrical or not. Alright, this might be the most difficult thing to keep going straight on this road that I've ever done, but we'll see what happens. Come on. Look at that, those wheels are actually able to go. When they go fast enough, they almost like they're, it's almost like they're round. Instead of squares or hexagons. Or, I don't know how many sides they have. They're end gons. How about that? I think it's still running too, look at that. It's still running. It's too durable. That's too durable. So yeah, that is the most disappointing car ever in this game. It is very disappointing. Almost as bad as the bus. Maybe it's worse, I don't know. How sad. I really don't know how to react to something like this. That's the truth of the matter. Anyways. Until next time, this is my BR. I'll see ya.